What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Civilization 5 Deity Old World Alternate Battle again. I know it's getting confusing. I mean, it works I guess. Good job I picked the word alternate because they're on alternating days now. Works well. Turn 300 now in this one, the same as what we were at yesterday in the the main battle, I guess as I've called it. A lot has happened in this one. Um, I can't remember obviously everything exactly. It all kind of blurs into one. I didn't watch this one quite as intently as I did the other one. I just let it run. Um, so I'm just trying to go off memory. We won't go too deep, sorry some of these episodes are getting a bit short, but it's, it's just a sort of recap. We I don't even know if the info addicts will open. Um, I won't jinx it yet. <laughs> I'll try in a second. Um, but yeah, some of the big things, obviously compared to turn 250, we didn't see much of North America being colonised in the middle. Now the Shah and Britain have done that. There's so many nukes going off in this world, it's ridiculous. Look, one of the colonies got nuked of India. By the look of it, now in the hands of the Congo, Britain's fighting the Congo. This is just crazy stuff going on in this one for some reason. Yeah, Britain with a lot of colonies. Morocco is still around in the New World only, and they have nukes. So that's this pretty scary colony nation. You've got something going on there with Egypt. Here's, I think this is still pretty much the same. I don't know who's doing this. I'm guessing the Congo, but the submarines can't do this. So I don't know what's going on, to be honest. Well, these units maybe can. Uh, the rest of Africa, I think, looks the same. Sorry if I've missed anything. I know Egypt have been expanding. Maybe not. Um, but yeah, Carthage weren't even here. But someone, someone's died. Were Carthage still alive in this one? I don't think they were. But this may be... Okay, maybe Egypt's losing. Maybe the Dutch are losing. I don't know. Somebody is losing. Egypt did at one point actually have Britain's cities. But that is... Oh, Egypt had this one and one here at one point. They've lost it now to the Dutch and Rhodesia. That's what's happened. Okay, I get it now. And uh, this was a city, and it has been nuked out of existence, which is incredible. Well done, AI. Good job. Greece has been having some wars. Europe's been a complete war zone. Germany is struggling. Greece, you see the border gore is atrocious following the fall of Poland. Greece, I don't know, they've all been nuking each other multiple times. It is ridiculous what's going on in there. I don't even know how to explain all of this. See, Russia's got random blobs. Greece has got a city up here. It's just a complete disaster, really. Britain's doing really well here with France and stuff, the Netherlands are still here, still in the game, Attila's still around, he's not doing too much, but he's just protecting himself, even Mongolia is quite strong, yeah, there's just a lot more stronger civs in this one, the Jar is still here doing quite well, but with less expansion, well, they do have Japan, well I said less expansion, they have the same part of North America, they're probably winning in this one, them and Rhodesia, again, probably winning, but it's probably a lot more closer with everyone else, um, Siam did very well. Look at all these colonies. Siam must be right up there as well in this game, I would imagine. Just taking a guess. The Congo is still alive with some of the weirdest borders ever. A giant sort of cross hammer thing. Um, splitting Rhodesia as well, which is quite impressive. Don't know how they've survived doing that. India's here, not certainly not as strong as they are in the other battle. A few bits of East Africa, but that's it. Byzantium's still going. They've lost some cities to Egypt in this one. And that's pretty much everyone. Korea's doing... Okay, again, they're doing pretty well in this one. I think they're starting to do well in the other one as well, to be honest, as time goes by. But yeah, that has been three minutes, so I need to think of something to increase the content. Let's have a look at the religion in this one. I don't know what it's like. It's probably it's the same. It looks like it's the same civs with the same religions, but it's a lot less balanced. Siam and Buddhism has dominated this game with 89. Catholicism from Portugal's done nowhere near as well with 35. I think that's because Portugal died a lot earlier in this one. Islam from Arabia at 30 has not done so well either, and then the rest are sort of, again, pretty average as they are in the other game. Judaism, 21. 14 for Eastern Orthodox, 3 for Protestantism from Nigeria, and 1 for J Japanese Shinto. Nothing too surprising. We'll have a look quickly if it doesn't crash. There we go, perfect. World rankings, just have a look. Population, Rhodesia, Shah, Russia, Siam, Britain. Crop yield, Rhodesia, Jar, Siam, Britain, Russia, top five again. Same order again for production. GMP, same again, but Russia swapped to Britain. Land, same five, six again. India's up there a lot, the Congo on the edge. Same five again in military manpower. Rhodesia with two million. That is the most across both series. Uh, social policies, pretty similar. Egypt snuck in, Britain's fallen off a little bit. Happiness, 274, that is ridiculous. 17 sieves left now in this one. I'm trying to get down to as few as possible. We'll see how close we can get. Technologies, everyone's almost in the final. Well, everyone's in the final 13. There's no, like, weak sieves that are just clinging on to dear life in this one. Like, 
Germany is probably close to that stage, but even they have like seven cities. They just look, they're all separated and grossly border gored. But yeah, it's not like any of these civs are clinging on for, you know, the ride with just one or two cities left and don't deserve to be alive. Any civ being removed from this game is going to be a challenge. Except maybe, yeah, yeah for everyone, I think. Uh, I don't know. Is there someone? Maybe Morocco, but like, even they're pretty strong. They have the technology still. Um, net gold. Everyone's losing money except Siam. There you go. Not so. Not as good as in the other game. Again, Rhodesia just doesn't know how to handle their money. It's the same in the other one. Minus like two thousand cities. Yeah, there you go. Four is the minimum. And the Huns of Mongolia. We looked at them. They have good tech and look okay. So yeah, it's gonna be a big battle to eliminate anyone in this one. Whereas in the other one, there are some civs who probably just you know are alive because other civs are being nice to them. Science. Um. Here you go, the Jar leading the way, Rhodesia, Russia, Siam. I didn't actually look at the top of the technology, sorry. The Jar, Rhodesia, India and Russia, all with 80. I think that is the same four as the other series, and the Netherlands are just missing out. But here you can see Siam and Korea are very close in particular. Uh, cities, yeah, Rhodesia leads the way. Jar, Siam, not as many, it's more spread out. These are lower big numbers for the top civs than the other one. Uh, science output we did culture Rhodesia leads the way Jar Siam Russia Britain again sort of a top five emerging wonders India the Jar Britain Rhodesia Russia no Siam that time treasury doesn't matter too much depends who's saving who isn't total faith or who saved at the beginning faith gain again not really important apart from Siam because they have a religion and a strong which is something we haven't really seen all the other religions in both games are sort of founded by pretty weak civs that aren't even around anymore a lot of the time Influence, Rhodesia, the Jar, India, Russia, Siam, the only influential civs. Trade routes, a couple of nines, but mostly eights. And tourism, Rhodesia again leading. I think Rhodesia would have won this one, the Jar in second. Russia, Britain, India. So yeah, that is that. Seven minutes, that's a little bit more. Um, yeah, but soon we will have a new AI-only battle, um, pretty soon. We're just sort of pushing these as far as we can. Obviously it takes quite a few hours between each episode, and I'm trying to get one out across each series a day. And I've got to record everything else and do other things as well. So sorry if they are going to be short episodes just for a few days. We're going to be dropping down at 15 minutes anyway. So it shouldn't feel as short for the other videos. But yeah, there will be a new AI only battle. Probably within 7 days. Maybe not 7 days, that's a bit bold. Probably after next weekend there will probably definitely be one. Um, so just a heads up for that, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, as always, if you have enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below, be sure to subscribe as well if you're new to the channel, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.